retirement after it, but did that mean that you left everything in the cage and that sort of spurred you on? Yeah, that's what we plan in every fight, is to leave everything in the cage, you know. But another, another decision and uh, that I let go to the judges, you know, we pushed as hard as we could to try to get rid of him out there, but he was one tough some motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> he was really, really tough. And he was dangerous right to the end, you know. As for the run of time and thing, it, no, someone took me up wrong, you know. I said that things started turning bad for me. And um, then I'd consider, I'd consider it, but um, I'm, still, I'm still at my A game. I'm beating people that are younger than me. Still here now, you know, so I'll keep going on and that changes. Neil, great performance off your back. Did you expect it to be on the ground as much as it was? No, uh, I, I know uh, I was very slow to start in the boxing exchanges. He seemed to be on his back foot and he was in and out. You know, um, at the start of the week, he said he was going to stand and box and let his hands go, you know. I was trying to push the pace. My, my timing was a little bit off. But as you've seen, when I touched him hard, he went for that takedown, you know, the media takedown. And when I was off my back, I overhooked him and I started letting elbows go, you know, because I wasn't going to let him tee off of me. Uh, yeah. Peel is known as being a really explosive fighter, and it seemed you, you, you kept that pressure on him, not allowing him to fight. Was that the game plan going in all along? Yeah, that was the game plan from the start, you know, because I've seen all his, his other fights, and he seemed to take the center of the cage, or center, yeah, the octagon, and fighters let him take the center, and they were afraid to go in, you know. I'm not afraid to get hit in this game. I'm not, by no all names, I'm going to go out with my heart my sleeve and try to finish people. If they knock me out, well and good. They're the better man won, but my plan is always to push forward and try to get rid of people. So Neil, like you said, you're not afraid to get hit, but he had you in a bit of a bad spot and sick around. He was loading up on some elbows in top position. He opened up a cut. Were you all at all worried that a cut would affect the fight? No, 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 I knew it wasn't that bad, you know. I know there was only a trickle of blood. I knew he was heavy. He was really heavy on top, you know, but I tried. I was trying to push off our submissions, you know. I was trying to go for the submissions. I overhooked him and started hitting him with elbows. And when I was hitting him with the elbows, he wasn't seem to move. And, you know, I was, <laughs> I was wondering whether, whether they were hurting him or not because he seemed to sit there when I was hitting him with the elbows. Usually people that explode out and get out of there, but he seemed to sit there, you know, so I was happy to keep going. How did it feel coming out to the arena that size? Oh, it must have been quite a good experience. It's amazing. It's unbelievable. I said to start the week when I got here on Tuesdays. Stockholm is amazing. See, you love it. People complain about the cold, but I love stuff like that. I was out yesterday in the cold, walking up and down while everybody was cooking me. I was out buzzing around. You know, I love the city. The city's beautiful, and it's great to get a win here. Neil, as we said, uh, bonuses. Yeah. Uh, that's potential for the night, mate, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think so. You know, it was as I said, the first round was a bit sloppy, but when the was warmed up, we really went for it. You know, and they're the type of fights that I like. Your hands look great throughout the fight. Where do you think your boxing stands compared to the rest of the division? Um, I don't know. I was really, you know, I, I box in Blanchardtown and I box with really pros. I don't know, a lot of people know Steve Collins. But I train with Pascal Collins, his, his brother, you know, in the Celtic Warrior gym. And they're fantastic boxers out there, you know. And I go out there and I'm happy enough. Uh, they're obliged that they, they let me go out there and spar with the boxers, you know. And I really, I walk with them, you know, and I take big shocks. So I don't think coming in here, I know they're smaller gloves. The, the lad, the punches don't seem to affect me as much, you know. Neil, you had to cut a couple of pounds, you said the other day. Paul had a bit of a tougher cut. Do you think he's rehydrated enough to put on a good performance? Yeah, Paul is always, like, he's young, he has a brilliant, he's an, an outstanding gas tank, and I'm sure he's going to show it out there. He's had to fill him back out. I know he missed weight, you know, but he tried, he, he cut like 32, 30 pounds, you know, within the two weeks that he was given. He went, he had a go at it, and I'm sure he's going to give it his all out there. Neil, you going, you going out with him now in a few minutes' time? Yeah, I'm planning to go back there, clean myself off, and if they let me out, I'm 100 percent in this corner. Cool. You know, surely last time we you fought you went straight back to work. Surely you're taking Monday off at least. I'm off Monday, but I'm back in Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. So Neil, it was a very nice a very nice performance, but was there anything that you would have liked to do differently when you if you think back and fight? Yeah, I'd like to finish people. I really do like to finish people, you know. And I did I, I, I really did start slow in the first round. Um I tried to push on him, you know, but my hand seemed to be time and was just a little bit off, you know. But as, as I pre progressed through the fight, I was getting more, a little bit more sharper and pushing forward. And I could see that Bill was tired, was tired and maybe 125, his first 125, he's had to go on three rounds with someone that's experienced at 125. I'm sure he's going to be back. He's a good guy and he's a fantastic fighter. You hit him on a t uh, right in the third. Was he was he hurt or was he just tired? No, I've I, I seen it in his eyes. He was really hurt and then he, he starts... He started moving off, he started running off a little bit, you know, into him and close the distance, he was gone. His footwork was really good, but he seemed to turn his back a bit. Any time he was throwing the shot, he was torn, sorry, he was torn in his head, you know, and he was looking down a bit, you know, that's why he went for a flying knee. <laughs> it didn't come off, but hey, God loves a try.